Check one, two, one, two. You are now in the building with Coach K. And this is the Hustlers Journal Podcast, live on YouTube. Check one, two, one, two. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now in the building with your boy Coach K. And this is the Hustlers Journal. Wow. 2020 is here. We finally wait for it to, to come, to arrive. And we made it. We finally made it to a new year, new decade, a new month. A brand new start for everybody. And I know a lot of people are saying to themselves, this year I'm gonna get things done. This year, whatever it is I need to make moves on, I'm going to get it done. I'm gonna make it happen right now because I don't have a choice. Now, there is this term that people use and it's one day. One day I'm gonna do this and one day I'm gonna make uh, these things happen and uh, one day I'm going to travel. One day I'm going to lose 10 pounds. One day I'm going to uh, start a business. One day I'm going to change the way that I am. But for now, I'm here. This word, this term one day or this day, does anyone know what day that is? Because that doesn't exist on the calendar. There's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't think there's a one day that exists. Now, I'm not criticizing anybody who maybe are not able to take certain steps towards what they want to do because they don't know how to get started. Maybe because they're nervous, they're shy, they're afraid of what it is that needs to be done. Um, They're just a bit nervous about the whole process. Maybe they're afraid of uh, being successful at whatever it is that they're doing and they don't necessarily want to move in that direction right now. That's okay. But here's the thing. If you continue with this vocabulary of one day, hopefully, and you know I'm gonna try one day, it doesn't generate action, doesn't generate movement. See, think of the most successful people that you know in any industry, or even among your friends. Your friends that say, I hope to get to this, that's never what they Wait, never what ends up happening. Let me let me start that again. <clears throat> Your friends that say they want to, they hope to do something. Ask them if they've gotten there yet. And typically, the answer would be no. And they'll have a reason behind it. They'll say, "Oh, nah." But you know, the reason why is because, and they begin to explain their their reason why they haven't started on their goals or their journey, whatever it is. But the friends that say, "I'm going to do this," they usually get it done. Why? Because they have put those words into their head, into their mind. They put belief into their mind and behind those words, into their heart, that whatever it is that they set out to do is gonna get done. We all need to follow this example. Follow the example of those friends. Think of the people who are successful out there. They don't say, well, I hope to get this done. Well, I hope to make this move. Well, I hope to see this, 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 that. They typically say, here's a pro- here's a process, here's a plan, here's how I'm gonna do it, here's how I'm gonna get it done, I'm gonna let you know how it goes, I'm gonna document it for you so you can see step by step what I did to get there, and I'll see you in a bit. And they get to work and they make things happen. You see those people who end up losing 10, 20, 30 pounds, and you wonder how is it, how it is that they did it? They decided at that moment, their losing 20, 30 pounds was important to them enough that they were gonna get it done and they were gonna start now. And they weren't waiting until January 1st, they weren't waiting until Monday, They weren't waiting till the right opportunity was there. They took the opportunity that was available to them and they made things happen, regardless if they had a party coming up, regardless if they had a wedding coming up, regardless if they had this celebration, that celebration, this person's birthday, that person's Christmas party, whatever it is that they had coming up, they managed to fit into their plans what it is they they were gonna get done. And they didn't use words like, one day I'm going to do this. They probably did at first and then they realized, you know what, me saying one day doesn't really work because if I look at my calendar, one day is not on there. Do you find yourself in the same position? Do you find yourself in the same situation saying, you know, one day I'm gonna make this happen, one day I'm gonna get here, one day I'm gonna get there, one day I'm gonna go see Japan, one day I'm gonna go see Australia, one day I'm gonna go talk to that girl in my class and say, you know what, I really think I should take you on a date. One day I'm gonna get an A plus. One day I'm gonna get that that dream job that I want. One day I'm gonna get a raise. One day I'm gonna start my own business. All these things are one day, but one day doesn't happen. And maybe it does at some point, but it's not because one day came about on a calendar. 
is because one day was created and it turned into today, it turned into tomorrow, or it turned into yesterday. And that's really what it comes down to, guys. What really what matters is what are we willing to do now to make that one day become actually possible? As I mentioned, vocabulary doesn't generate movement. It actually pro promotes procrastination. Because when we say, okay, I'll get to it later, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to that real soon. Real soon is when? You gotta be specific. You gotta give some legit details as to what are you gonna get done and how are you gonna get it done. Because if you have a goal and you talk about it so much about all these things you wanna do, eventually what happens is people tune out and then you tune out of your own self because you're tired of hearing yourself say the same thing over and over and over again. Believe me, I'm speaking from experience and I'll tell you an example of what I mean by that. I always said, yeah, you know what? One day I'm gonna have my own uh, visual that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some videos, I'm gonna do some interview stuff because I really wanna make this happen. One day I'm gonna put it together. You know, I really gotta sit down, but I gotta make sure that I have the right time because I have this to do, that to do, this to do, that to do, blah, 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 blah. And I was explaining this to my clients. I explained to her a couple of times and she said, wow, that's a great idea. And then I would talk about it again. And she's like, oh, okay, you're still talking about that. That's good, it's good, it's great. And then I spoke about it again one more time and she said to me, Kareem, do me a favor, don't talk about it if you're not gonna do it. Just do it, start. Get started, get moving, get to action, get to work. Now here I am as a coach, being coached by my client. I could have let pride take over and say, oh, who, are you, who are you talking to? I'm gonna get this done. But I took it to heart and I said, you know what, you're right. I acknowledged the fact that I was talking a lot and I spoke and I spoke and I spoke and I spoke and nothing was generating because I would say, okay, I gotta get to doing this, but you know what, I gotta get this done first. This has to be in line with this and this has to be in line with that and the moon has to rise on the right side of the, of the ocean and then I gotta make sure that the stars are here and this, all that is just nonsense talk until I was ready to do something. And that became the birth of um, the Hustlers, actually not the Hustlers Journal, it actually became the birth of um, The Daily Hustle. When I started doing videos on YouTube, you can check out those those episodes on YouTube right now. Uh, still some older episodes from season one, season two, just to plug that in there a little bit real quick, you know what I'm saying? But it took me, it took someone to tell me, you gotta get to work, stop talking about it. For me to think back and say, you know what, you're right. So what energy am I trying to put forward to you? I'm trying to encourage you to do the exact same thing. When I decided that I was going to be a personal trainer, my wife said to me, great, that's what you're going to do. Cool. No problem. But just do me a favor and don't stop going. Don't say you're going to do something and don't, don't say you're going to start something if you're not going to finish it. And I took those words to heart. I took it a little bit as a challenge. I thought she was jabbing at me for a second. I said, yo, is she serious, man? I'm going to get this done. And it took someone to push me to get me there even though i'm a self-driven person but i'm self-driven when it comes to things that i want to do and this is the key ladies and gentlemen the things that you want to do you will get up and you'll go and you'll make it happen you'll make moves and you'll get them done because you want to get it done because you want to do it the things that you have as a goal for yourself that you want to see fulfilled you always put a, at some point in time in my life, I'd like to have this happen. If the opportunity didn't come for my wife to find a trip to Japan, I would have never gone to Japan. True story. She found tickets online and said, you know what, for our anniversary, let's travel. Let's do something different. Instead of going to resort or relaxing, let's travel. Let's go to Japan. You've always wanted to go to Japan. Let's make it happen. Tickets are 550 bucks. Boom, I'm going to buy them right now. Done. Click, 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 boom. Tickets bought, had nothing else to do, but wait. Wait till the day came, had the greatest trip of my life. Came back, felt refreshed, felt, inv felt invigorated, and I said, you know what? I need to go back to Japan again. I need to go see some other places. I need to go check across the world and see what's going on over there. Matter of fact, I need to go check across Canada and see what's going on across there. Maybe go to the Maritimes, maybe I'll go out to BC and see what's happening out here because there's so much more to see. But if I didn't take action, in this case, if my wife didn't take action to say, you're talking too much, we need to get going, we need to move and make something happen. I put the ball in her court and said, hey, pick a trip, let's go. I wanna go someplace where I can just chill and relax. And I end up having the greatest time of my life. But I wouldn't have had that happen had I kept talking. 
So many people are missing out on the opportunities to grow, to develop, to build, to change, to transform their lives, their minds and their bodies. They're missing out on these opportunities. Why? Because they are afraid of succeeding. Now, someone out there can listen to this and say, oh, Coach K, you're, ah, that's not true. I'm good with my life. I'm great. Okay. Well, there must be something out there that you'd like to do that you'd hope to be able to do one day. But as I said, one day is not on the calendar. Therefore, you're not making moves to make that one day into today or tomorrow or even yesterday or even next week. You haven't set a date as to when you're going to get things started. Now, I spoke a bit about on my, on my Instagram about this condition called SOMS, start on Monday syndrome, okay? It's a very, very, very big thing, a big deal. A lot of people suffering from it. You might be suffering from it right now and you're probably denying it. Typical signs and symptoms is denial, um, uh, procrastination, people waiting, waiting, waiting to get things done because they say they're gonna start, but they realize there's a lot of effort that takes in starting, there's a lot of energy that's required and you tell yourself right away, I don't have the energy to do it. I don't know if I can because ah, I'm not sure. Friends, let me tell you something. You won't get anything accomplished in 2020 if you continue to carry the same attitude you have in 2019. Okay, I'm gonna say this one more time. You will not get anything accomplished in 2020 if you continue to have the same attitude that you had in 2019. 2019 ended two, two days ago, so I'm not expecting changes to happen right off the bat. But if you wrote down in a book somewhere on your whiteboard or put on your cork board or on your fridge, I'm gonna do this. You need to put a date and make it happen. You need to put a date and say, starting right now, and put everything in play that needs to be done. And instead of waiting until tomorrow to do it, you should be starting right now. Heck, you should have started last week. Before the year is out, you should have said, I'm putting things into play, putting things into practice right now. How do you think companies roll out products? You think they wait until January 1st to launch a product? No, they have things set on a timeline. And when that timeline hits a certain date, they go, okay, this is accomplished, boom, this is done, this is done. And then they set that rollout date and they go, yep, yeah, January 1st is when it rolls out. And when January 1st hits, boom, it's on the market. It's not rocket science. It's actually just action. Action is involved, so we need to make moves now. There's nothing hope, nothing wrong with hoping to get somewhere. But hope is a thought and it's an idea. Now, there is, obviously, there is a different type of hope where there's hope for the future. That's an actual guaranteed promise. That's a different topic for another day. But... When somebody says, I hope to get to this, I hope to do that one day, it's all a matter of putting in the work to make it happen. It's all about doing that. You know, there are a lot of things that we, if we think about and reflect on it, what things do we say we hope to do? And what things do we actually say we're going to do? And it's usually, like I said, the things that we like to do, the things that we enjoy doing, we put most effort into doing. You know, when you want to do something, you go out there and get it done. When you don't want to do something, you'll wait, you'll delay, you'll procrastinate, okay? I'm gonna give you another example. I just had a conversation with a friend of mine, good friend of mine, shout out to my guy, Jonathan Williams. Jonathan Williams, man, 2020 vision. We're about to get this done. Got a nice project working with him coming up real soon down the pipeline, but anyways, um, his wife has been making moves. She made a suggestion to him, told him to reach out to me, so we have something that's going out, uh, going out real soon. Stay tuned for that. Um, but at the end of the day, he's always had this idea this 2020 business idea. Okay, I'm not gonna go too much into detail about it. But he talked about it, talked about it, talked about it, never made moves, and he always made like, ah, oh, man, I'm gonna start, but I have this to do, and I have that to do, and I have this to do, that, that to do. And then one day he decided, you know what, I gotta stop talking. I gotta make moves, I gotta make things happen right now. And I've had many conversations with him, and this guy is bright, he's smart, he's enlightening, he has so much energy behind him, and I think to myself, man, all this energy you have behind yourself, to give to other people, why aren't you putting that behind yourself? So we had a conversation and things are made, things are moving, things are happening. And all it started with was somebody else saying to him, bro, you need to start this right now. Stop wasting time, stop procrastinating, get things done. Stop saying, well, you have this to do, that to do, you have that place to go. No, make it a schedule, put it in your books. Make it known that you have to get this done by a certain date and you make it happen instead of talking about it so much. We need to start to do different things. If we want this new year to be a new start, you can't keep doing the old things you were doing before. I don't expect people in my class to complain the way that they did before if they really want to see change happen. I don't expect my clients to go, yeah, I know I should come, but I have this to do. Yeah, it's this. No, they recognize that they need to make changes and they're stepping their game up now, but they weren't stepping it up 
now. They were doing it from before to make things happen so that it's consistent now. And that's also another key. You got started right away. So even if your rollout date for whatever it is you want to do is in a week's time, two weeks time, three weeks time, two months time, a year's time, you better get started now. Summer bodies don't start in the summer. Summer bodies are used in the summer. They're rolled out in the summer. But the effort and the energy that you put in to make that summer body happen starts the year before. It starts from waking up in the morning and say, listen, I got to get this done. If it means I got to go outside for my morning jog or my morning walk, if it means that I got to get to the gym, if it means I got to go downstairs in my basement and get a workout in, if it means I even got to start with just doing a couple push-ups, a couple squats and crunches and stuff in my bedroom just to get the motion going so I can overcome that discomfort and that pain and move forward into actual real action. If whatever you need to do has to get done in advance, that's the best way to operate. Make, get it done in advance so that when you actually want to see this thing roll out and happen, you will see changes come right off the bat. And take it from me. I'm a guy that used to talk so much. I talked a lot, talked a lot, talked a lot. I never thought that I'd actually be really dropping videos on YouTube and a podcast. But I decided one day I had to get it done after having a conversation with my clients. And how did it start? I simply met with a, with a friend of mine who I was training at the time. And I said, you know what? I'm going to sit down. I'm going to talk to you about your uh, your pole athleticism. She said, but I don't even know what to say. I said, doesn't, doesn't matter. Flow off my energy. Let's just go. We had a great conversation on camera. I cut things up, edited it up. Boom. Dropped it. No problem. And then from there, I felt comfortable. Got another one, another one, another one, another one. Created a whole season. Then created a season two. Stopped a little bit because I wanted to shift into more of the podcast side of things. Still doing videos. But at the end of the day, I got started. Made things happen. Okay, kudos to me, cheers to me. That's not what it's about. It's about me trying to encourage you out there. Take a lead. Lead by example. Lead, lead by example amongst your peers, amongst your friends, amongst your family members. Stop doing all of this talking and get to work and get moving. Make things happen. Pictures don't get painted by themselves. They start with the brush and they start with the paint, start with the water, they start with the plan. You figure out that plan, you draw what it is you want to get done, and you start putting the brush to the, to the canvas. And you paint that picture and you make that picture the best picture that you can possibly make it. And when you realize that, hmm, this picture can use a little bit of work, you do another one. And now you feel comfortable doing another one and another one and another one because you started with one. But you had to get started with something first before you move into that direction. Okay? Stop saying what it is that, you're gonna, that you have intentions of doing if it's not going to be followed by actions. If intentions are not followed by effort, it means nothing. Because I can hear you talk all day and say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to get this done, I'm going to make this happen. Boom, that's cool. That's great. But show me. I am a show and prove type of person. The people around you want to see what you do. They don't want to hear you talk about it. When you say, I'm going to save a million dollars, they want to see your account to see how far you've gotten. When you say, I'm going to drive a Mercedes Benz, they want to see what's parked outside of your driveway. Doesn't mean it's going to happen right at that moment, but they want to see what you're doing to work towards making that happen. When a person says to me, Kareem, I want to lose 10 pounds. I want to lose 15 pounds. I want to feel better about myself. You have to show me through your effort and your energy that you want to do that. And you have to be willing to take that work on full steam ahead and make it work and make it happen. Because talk is cheap, but effort has a price. The results are the return on the investment. But you have to ask yourself the question, am I willing to pay? Or do I want to keep being cheap? You know, I've been in that place before, as I mentioned before, and it's not a great place to be. But guess what? We all have a way of getting out of it. We now have to take the time and the opportunity to get out of our comfort zone. Step out of that comfort zone. Step out of the things that we're used to doing. If you're in the gym and you're pushing weight and your trainer says to you, hey, you know what? I'm going to upgrade you to this much weight. Don't say, oh, no, 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 no. I can't do that. No, it's not, it's not possible for me to do that. I'm not going to make that happen. That lack of belief in yourself really is what's going to hold you back. And I'll give you another example, one more story before I go. I had a trainer back in Toronto. His name is Derek. This guy, oh, my training life too. He taught me a lot of lessons. A lot of things came out from working with him. He gave me a box. He said, okay, Kareem, you want to work on your explosiveness? We got to do box jumps. He showed me the box. The box was maybe up to my hip, maybe a little bit higher. He said, okay, today we're going to jump on this. I said, no, we're not. He said, yeah, we are. I said, no, no, no. Me do that? Are you crazy? I can't do that. He said, okay, cool. 
the training area that we were in was like a glass a glass uh, structure. He opens the door, walks out. I said, where are you going? He's like, well, if you're not gonna do this, why are we here? If you talk about what it is you wanna do, but you're not willing to do what needs to be done to get there, then why are we here? What, what, what's the whole purpose of this? So ask yourself that question, guys. Because just to put it in perspective, I jumped that box and now I can jump higher boxes. But that's not just based on my athletic skill. That's based on my will and determination and my commitment to the process of learning through the falls, through the slips, through the bumps and the bruises, that in order for me to get higher, I have to be willing to hit the ground. And for you to get going, you gotta be willing to hit the ground and run and move and take advantage of the opportunity you have before you to make that happen. Stop talking about it. This year has gotta be different. 2020 has gotta be the different scene for you and for me, for all of us. Stop talking about what you're gonna do and get it done. You wanna run that 5K, that 5K uh, race at the end of the year? You better start running. Start with one kilometer and get yourself moving. You wanna finish a Spartan race or an RS1 race or any other race, a Mud Hero, whatever it is, that's on your bucket list or your goals for the year? You better get your team together. You better get things moving. You wanna squat two plates? You better start squatting the plate. You better start squatting. You better start moving. You gotta get things done. Stop talking about what it is you want to get accomplished and make it happen. You want to save money. You want to have better relationship with your friends. You want to have a better relationship with your spouse. You want to have a better relationship with God. You want to have a better relationship with yourself. You need to start now. Kick out all those things that are hindrances, that are obstacles. See the opportunity you have before you to grow and to learn. And recognize that the discomfort is what teaches you everything about yourself. You learn a lot when you get uncomfortable, you learn a lot when you're willing to take on certain challenges and say, you know what, this is gonna hurt, this is gonna be really crappy, it's gonna suck, but I'm willing to get through it, I'm willing to go through it in order to learn more about myself, I'm willing to learn. A good friend of mine named Karen said to me, you don't go through things, you grow through them. I'm sure she got that quote from someone else because I've heard that quote several times from other people, but at the end of the day, when she related to me, it was at the right time, the right place, and I was in the right mind frame to take it in, absorb it, and let it manifest. Friends, I hope that you take this in, you absorb it, and let it manifest. And if it's not the right time for you to hear this right now, save it. This episode will be available on my YouTube channel. It will also be available on Anchor. If you're subscribed to Anchor, if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, it's GoodFit TV, G-O-O-D-F-I-T-T TV. Follow me on Instagram. I'm going to have this also posted through my IGTV uh, segments in a short clip and you can follow the link directly to my uh, my anchor um, podcast for you guys to check it out listen sit down take it in breathe it in absorb it go ahead and breathe it in like antihistamines you know what i'm saying like we're out here just trying to move motivate people and i'm out here just trying to move and motivate people to do things because you know what when a person says cream how did you get to where you are today i said i listened to somebody else and they showed me what to do and that person probably listened to someone else who showed them what to do it's all a matter of passing on information and energy. And the more we can do that for each other, the more we're going to see each other grow and the better it's going to be for everybody. Because I'll tell you something that really sucks. What sucks is when you know that you can go a little bit harder, but you hesitate and slow yourself down because you don't want to discourage other people around you. That shouldn't be your attitude. Your attitude should be, I'm going to go as hard as I can. And I hope everyone else around me is either motivated to push as hard as they can as well, or they're, they're willing to catch up, or they're willing to work just as hard as me or even harder than, harder than me to either catch up to me or to pass me. It's not a competition with other people, it's a competition within yourself. You always gotta look at yourself in the mirror and say, what am I willing to do today in order to change to be better for tomorrow? And it starts with you starting right now. Today is day two of 2020. New month, new year, new decade. Are you going to take advantage of it? Or are you going to let another year waste away just like the years previous before? Keep that question in mind, guys. Again, you can follow me on my Instagram. It's goodfit underscore fitness. That's G-O-O-D-F-I-T-T underscore fitness on my Instagram page. You can also follow me on my personal Facebook, which is uh, Kareem Rollins, and also on my uh, fitness, um, fitness Facebook, sorry, at uh, Goodfit Personal Training and Wellness Services. I'm going to have a... Um, 
Facebook group that I'm going to be dropping in about a couple of weeks. I'm just trying to put some things together. As I mentioned, I have some projects that I'm working on. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys through my Instagram, through my Instagram TV, through my YouTube channel, and also through Anchor. Guys, I hope you get a chance to listen to this. Take this in, breathe it in, absorb it, let it manifest, let it marinate it inside you. And if you're upset about what it is that I'm saying and you feel like I'm calling you out, good. I want you to be upset. I want you to be angry and I want you to be motivated to do something different. It's the Hustler's Journal, episode 13. Let's get it done, people. Peace out. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Coach K in the building. Thank you so much for watching. To get more from Good Fit, including training videos, the Daily Hustle series, and more episodes of the Hustler's Journal, visit our channel and follow us on Instagram. And before you go, remember to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest premium content.